Hi there, today we're making a Polish star ornaments. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need about 10 to 14, three and a half or four inch circles. And I'm using a, uh, a metal that my son won at judo here because it's three and a half inches and it's the perfect size. And then you're going to just draw out the circles and then you're gonna cut them out. To make things easier, and this is what I did later on, was you can just cut the paper, stack the paper, and then cut out several at a time. That works, that also works as well. Then take the circle, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and then you're gonna fold it in half a third time. Creasing the, uh, creasing the edges as you go. So when you open it, you get those little lines, and it's, you're gonna have eight segments. Then you're gonna draw a circle in the middle, and I find a nickel is about the right size circle in the center about an inch in diameter and then you're going to cut along those folded lines that you made right up to the drawn circle you don't want to go right to the center you're just going to go about an inch from the center now you are going to need i'm using 10 of these circles for one star you can use up to like 14 depending on uh, how full you want the star to be then take a nice sharp pencil put it line it up like i am here and then push down with your index finger and just roll one of the edges of the segment over and then roll the other one. This is hard to describe. Um, it takes a little bit of practice to get really fast at it, but when you make a few of these, um, it'll come very naturally, very easily. I find putting a glue, tiny bit of glue at first helps. So put the little tiny bit of glue and then your pencil just to, almost to the edge. And it's kind of a rolling motion. You push the paper over and then you kind of roll roll the pencil so you get to the center and then you just keep going and rolling the other edge over. And it makes a nice sharp point and the sharper the point, the better for these. Now, if you, you can also put some glitter on these, it makes them look a little bit shinier. You just apply a little bit of plain glue, plain craft glue, and then just sprinkle some sprinkles, some glitter on the edges. And I did chose red for these ones. Now for assembly, yes, the color did change. I did tape it with the red ones, but I found that I didn't really did a good job demonstrating. So I'm really gonna show you the assembly with these gold ones. So you're gonna need length of strings, about 12 inch length of string. And I'm using the colors that match the, uh, the Polish stars. Now you're gonna use a skewer or some kind of object to make a small hole in the center of each star. You take your length of string. It has to be fairly tough string because you don't want it to break easily. Then you're gonna need a couple of sequins and you're just gonna string the sequin onto the string. The sequin, you can use a small button, you could use a bead, um, whatever you want. It has, just has to be something small. And you're gonna just put it on the string like so. Then you're gonna fold the string in half, making sure the, the sequin is at the bottom and just line up the top. Now this string has a tendency to fray a little bit, so it's better if the edges are clean. So I'm just gonna snip off a bit at the ends here to get some nice clean edges. This is just a tinsely kind of string that's used um, to wrap packages with. Then taking a fairly large sized darning needle, you're just going to put both ends of the string through the top of the needle and pull them through, but not all the way, just like that. You see how the sequins at the bottom? Then you're going to take one of the stars nice side down for the first one and then just go through the bottom up Pull the string through and then you'll see how the sequin stops the string from going all the way through the star, just like that. That's for the first one, but nice side down. And for the rest of them, you're going to put the nice side of the star, the shiny side up. And then you just basically just do one at a time and just keep pushing them down like so until they're all on there. And then you're going to put the sequin on last. And this is a bit of a challenge because the sequin hole uh, is kind of small, so you have to kind of wiggle it around to get it through. Pull the string down and then push the sequin all the way until it's touching the stars. 
like so, and then take the needle off the string and take both ends of the string and just pull. Pull very firmly and you'll see it brings all the star points together and makes the star shape. And then you're just going to do a simple knot and pull again and then another simple knot. And that'll keep um, the shape of the star. And then just make a knot at the length that you want the ornament string to be and then just snip off the excess. And there you go, a completed ornament. Very easy. And here's some other ones that I made. I hung them on the tree in front of my house so you could see what it would look like it against the green. Um, apparently these are a traditional Polish um, art and craft that they make around Christmas time. I really like them. I'm sure you will too. I'm making these for an ornament exchange this year. This is scrapbooking paper. You could also use wrapping paper for this. As long as it's thick enough. <laughs>